I am a recruitment and marketing officer here at the School of Management. My contact details will appear up on the screen, so please do feel free to send me an email if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to chat about. So the School of Management is one of the UK's top providers of business, finance and economic education. We have a range of undergraduate programmes, including business management, but also in the areas of finance, business and economics, right the way through to postgraduate degrees and doctoral research programmes. We're very proud here to have a very culturally diverse student community, both within the School of Management and within Swans University, and that is very much reflected in our academic faculty as well. Here at Swans University, we are very proud of the culturally diverse community that we have fostered on our campus. So this is reflected in our student body, representing over 100 different countries just within the School of Management, but also within our academic faculty. And this means that you're being taught and you're learning in an environment where there's people from lots of different places, lots of different countries, and that really does inform your learning and teaching and just gives you a bit of an edge, I think, over other graduates and can make you truly global because you understand perceptions of different people. Our graduates really do get placed in some great companies and we have our graduates working in local startup companies, companies all around the UK and multinational and global companies. For example, graduates are now in companies such as IBM, Nike and HSBC, so really truly globalised corporations. Business really is the backbone for social, political and economic systems at all levels and studying a degree in business will give you an opportunity to really get an insight into how the world works. So what will you gain from a degree in business management? We like to make sure that our graduates have got the skills and the knowledge to allow them to go into either a startup company, maybe their own, or to be able to work in either a local, small to medium, or even multinational or global company. Not only will you have knowledge and theories thrown at you while you're doing your degree here at Swansea, but you'll learn how to apply these to the real world. And the range of modules and subjects you'll study will give you that competitive edge in the job market. So shown on the screen now is a list of all of the business management programmes that we do here at the School of Management. The Business Management BSc is our flagship programme, and that means that it is one of the popular programmes that then many of our other streams work from. So you may have applied for the marketing specialism or the finance specialism business management degree. And what that means is that later on in your degree, you will then have more core modules or specialize in that subject field. The great thing about all of those programs is that you actually all do the same first year. So that common first year basically allows you to have lots of flexibility. You will all study the same modules of which I will show you in a few moments but that isn't just what it's about. We do want you to have the same level of knowledge and make sure you have got that, that base of skill within business management that will allow you to grow in many different areas. But what it does mean is that once you've completed that first year, you can then move into a different program if you decide that maybe the original one that you chose isn't the best one for you. So although the first year we do tell you what modules you have to study, that doesn't continue necessarily all the way through to second and third year. No matter what programme you are on, you will have some free choice modules. So the business management generalist programme, you will have all free choice in the second and third year. And for the other degree schemes, so with marketing as a specialism, for example, or finance, you will have a few more core modules, so within those areas, but then you will also have some choice on other modules that you would like to study. And these can be in finance, in accounting, in economics, or within business and within your uh, specialism. It really is entirely up to you. So on all of these modules that you'll be studying, we actually have an implemented three-week coursework turnaround. So what does that mean for the student? Well, it basically means that you'll hand in a piece of work or an assignment, maybe coursework or group study, and you will get a mark back within three weeks. Not interested? Well, you should be. It really does make a difference. When you're getting those marks, you can see where you're performing well, where you need to improve, and then it gives you and the lecturer time before you have those all-important exams at the end of the term. You can really look forward to beginning your degree at the School of Management because we operate a range of innovative teaching methods. One of the favourite ones here, or definitely one of my favourites, is the clicker system. And what this is, is a device that is given to you when you first join, and you do have to look after this, so please remember that when you do arrive. But it gives you the opportunity to interact with your lecturers. 
they will ask a question and you can answer uh, A, B or C, for example, with the clicker. If they see that 80% of the students have got the question wrong because the results will come up on their screen, they then know that they maybe have to deliver uh, their teaching a little bit better or in a different way. If one student has got the answer wrong, that student in the audience will know that it's them. Maybe they need to revisit a bit of extra reading or speak to the lecturer at the end of the lesson. We also have a virtual learning environment here uh, at Swansea University and within the School of Management. And this is a portal where your lecture slides, your coursework, your uh, recommended reading, anything that the lecturer wants you to see will be up in this virtual learning environment that you can access on and off campus. Lecturers will also put their slides for their lectures up before the lecture. So you can have a look at them before you come in. And if there is anything you don't understand, it gives you that opportunity to get one step ahead. All of these modules and innovative teaching methods are delivered to you by either industry professionals or world leading academics. They are at the forefront of their research or their industry, and they really are bringing the skills and knowledge that they have and feeding them directly into our undergraduate students degree programs. These aren't just the people that are reading the books to you, these are the ones that are writing the books and often people that are at the top of their field. So I've talked a bit about modules. All of our degrees are modular in structure. So a module then is a pocket of study, basically like a mini subject. So within uh, your A-levels, for example, if you studied A-levels, you would have done maybe maths or psychology, and these are pockets of study. So if you think of a module as a pocket, then that makes it a bit easier to work it out. So you may have a finance module, a business management module, and so forth. These modules uh, are assigned credits. So every year you will have to study 120 credits, and normally a module is around 15 credits. So if you do the maths, you can work out roughly how many modules you will study. Some modules offered are double modules, so they will be 30 credit modules, which means you'll then study one less as it's taken up a bit more space. And then these will give you the opportunity to gain credits in each area to give you an even score then across many of the different subjects you study with us uh, in your degree programme. So to give you an idea of what a 15 credit module is, you will have two hours of lectures per week per module. So that will be in a situation where you will sit in a class in a lecture theatre uh, with your lecturer and be given information. There will be interactive sessions and so forth. These are normally in larger size classes. You will also have one hour of seminar per week. And seminars give the opportunity for you to have a bit more one-to-one -one interaction with your lecturer and with your classmates. So that's about three hours per week per 15 credit module. So it, per term, you can expect to have about 12 to 15 hours per week of contact time. And then obviously make sure you're doing your extra study as well. So I promised that you would see some of the modules, uh, particularly for the first year, and they are just listed on the screen. So there is accounting for business, finance for business, professional skills development, maths and statistics for business, managing people, marketing, strategy, and operations management. So really there you can see that there's such a broad range of topics for you to study. If you're studying marketing, if you're doing the business management with finance, you will still see a human resource management module and an operations management module, for example. So for those of you that are on the BSE business management generalist programme, so without the specialism, you'll see that you actually have free choice modules for your second and third year. So what that means is that you can design your own degree programme. So that big module catalogue that I talked about, the one that spans across business, finance, accounting and economics, you have that to freely choose from. So even if you're studying a marketing degree, you can actually study some economics or accounting or finance modules right up until your third year of study. And that, I think, is really what makes our graduates have that edge in the job market. So I'm not leaving the specialist programmes out. Basically, you're going to do the same first year as the business management, as I mentioned before. So all of those modules that are listed on the screen. As you then move into your second year and your third and final year, you will have to do a bit more core module study. So we're going to have to tell you what to study a bit more so than the generalist programme. And the reason that is, is because you're studying a degree with that specialism, so you will be required to have knowledge in that area. But don't panic, you will still have free choice modules on all of the degree programmes listed, so you're free to choose whether you want to stay within your specialism or get some skills in a completely new and different area. 
One of the best modules I think that we provide at the moment in the School of Management is the Application Development module. So we are one of the first UK business schools to offer this and it is really truly an innovative and exciting programme for undergraduates. You will learn the basic skills required to develop an application for your iPhone, uh, other phones are available for example, and then you will take that to delivery. So you will leave at the end of your module and you will have an app. So many students have gone on to use this in their own businesses and also taken these skills to employers which in the current technological climate they really want them. So assessment methods, you're probably thinking why are they telling us about exams already but it is really good to know before you get here the ways in which you're going to be assessed. So we don't just give you exams because that wouldn't be fair on the people that were better at coursework. So we do blend it. You won't have more than 70% of a module assessed by an examination. So basically you'll sit an exam and it's not going to count for more than 70% of your credits for that particular subject. So what that means is that if maybe you are better at coursework or you don't have a very good day on the day of the exam, then that is buffered. So you still have the opportunity to get your good grade and reflect the actual learning that you have done and your real understanding. Other assessment methods include in-class tests and these are done within the term. So a formative assessment. You'll also see summative assessment on the screen. And that basically just means at the end of the module. So your end of uh, term exams, which you'd probably be quite used to from your uh, higher education study. Careers and employability is a big thing for us at Swansea University. And we are a top 20 UK university for graduate employment prospects. Our graduates uh, are really doing very, very well in the world of work. And we do have a 93% graduate employment rate. So what that means is that 93% of our graduates are either in further education, so postgraduate degrees for example, or in a graduate role six months after graduating with us. Not only will you have the opportunity to complete a work placement or an internship while you're with us at Swansea, but you'll have interaction with business leaders and companies from the moment you arrive to the moment you leave. And we do this through our visiting speakers and they happen on a regular basis. So per module that you study, you will have at least one external person come in and talk to you for at least one lecture. This will often happen a bit more. So for example, if you're studying the marketing degree, so business management with marketing, you may have someone from the Chartered Institute of Marketing come in and set you a piece of coursework. So you're having an interaction with a business leader right from the moment you begin at Swansea. You will have built up a network by the time you graduate, which really does help you get onto a, a graduate job or the career ladder. Our academics have extensive industry links, so not only are they at the top of their research or uh, career, but they have links with people from all over the world and in many, many industries. So you really do have to make the most of them while you're here at Swansea. We actually have a dedicated careers and placements team here at the School of Management. So not only are you getting this fantastic support from Swansea University and all of these opportunities thrown at you, but you're going to get that from inside your school as well. So, placement degree programmes. If you didn't know already, then we do offer industry placement degrees across all of our undergraduate programmes. So for anyone that's applied for a three-year degree, don't panic, you can still transfer on to an industry programme, which is a four-year variant, after you've completed your first year with us. So you've got two options. You can either do a four-year degree with a one-year long industry placement, or you can do two six-month placements. So it sounds a bit confusing at the moment, but you don't actually have to decide until you get here, which is really, really good. Again, that flexibility that helps you in your decision-making process. Before I move on to show you the brief structure of the placements, I'll just say that placement degrees really do give you the opportunity to get that edge in the graduate job market. When you leave and you've completed your final year, you will actually have work experience, and that is something that employers are very much looking for in this day and age. It's going to give you the skills and the knowledge that you require but also give you the chance to find out if you really enjoy the particular subject that you're working in. Many graduates will prefer to do a two six month placement option as they can maybe do a placement in an accounting firm and a marketing agency. You really can be that diverse. Other students will have a very good idea of where they want to go after they finish their degree. So they will do a year long placement in a particular industry of their choosing. So just on the screen, you'll see the layout of the programme variants. So the three-year programme, just here, one, two, three, you will finish your degree. You can work in between uh, the vacation periods, for example, but that won't have an industry placement. 
The four-year variants then, you can see the yellow blocks and they just show you where you'll be doing your industry placement. So for the year-long option, that's quite easy. You'll do it in between your second and final year of study. And for the two six-month options, you will do the first placement at the beginning of your second year and the second placement at the end of your third year. So I know that sounds a bit wordy, but hopefully the screen will help you to just work out where that will be. You also have the opportunity to study abroad for the first six-month placement. And we have lots of connections with universities all over the world. So really, that concludes the presentation today. You have got my contact details, so please do get in touch if there's anything that uh, confused you or if you just want to find out a bit more information about anything. Stay in touch. We are on social media.